Hi guys, Chef Michelle here and today I will be doing a Haitian rice with uh, black beans and we will be um, doing a chicken, a Haitian chicken stew and here are all the ingredients that I will be using guys. Okay, and I have my water boiling here right now because I'm going to go ahead and add that fresh chicken that you see right here guys. I've cleaned that chicken. I've cleaned it with lime and vinegar and I've rinsed it three times. So like I said, that chicken there will go in this boiling water. Um, I already have my rice prepared and we're going to make um, um, Haitian rice with these black beans. And then we're going to also um, make a uh, Haitian uh, seasoning and here are all my ingredients that I'll be using for that Haitian seasoning as you guys can see everything is already prepared um, tomato paste there and then uh, the vegetables that you see here uh, that will be for the chicken once the chicken is prepared so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video and um, get everything going so uh, I'll come back with that next step guys. Hi guys, Chef Michelle here and we have that fresh chicken that we're going to go ahead and add to that uh, bowl in hot water. Like I said, that chicken has been fresh and clean uh, with lime and um, I'm going to add a couple pieces of chicken here. Okay. So we're just adding the chicken and I'm making a large batch because of course you guys know I have a large family. Okay, so we've added that fresh chicken and we're just going to cover that chicken and let that chicken boil down for a good, um, we're gonna let it boil down for a good, uh, maybe a good 15 minutes. 15 minutes is good for that chicken to boil down because I don't want it to um, fall off the bone. That's not what I'm looking for. I want it halfway done. And we'll come back with that next step. Hi guys, Chef Michelle is back with this uh, next step. We're making a um, Haitian spice for uh, the chicken that you see um, we're boiling up. We did that in the first step. So I have the blender here and we're gonna go ahead and start adding um, some of uh, the ingredients. And uh, we're just adding some of this flat leaf Italian parsley, guys. Just know that there are um, two different kinds. There's the curly pot, um, parsley and then there's this uh, flat leaf parsley here. And I mean, you could definitely tell the difference because again, like this looks flat, right? You see that flatness? Yeah. All right, so we're just adding the flat leaf parsley and we're gonna go ahead and add some of that thyme. And then now we will be adding some um, green onions. Okay, and we're gonna add some red onions. Then we're gonna add um, red bell peppers and green bell peppers. Then we're gonna add uh, garlic. Then we're gonna add regular white onions. Okay. And then um, I do know that um, Haitians add peanut oil, but I can't use peanut oil because I have kids with allergies, so I'm just adding um, olive oil. Okay. Not sure if you guys could see that. I'm just scoop it over. Okay, and we're just gonna grind everything.
just gonna add the rest of that oil. And this is a very delicious um, Haitian seasoning. Or Haitian spice. Make sure that finely, uh, nice, incorporated. Looks like it's good. All right. I'm just gonna let it go one more time. You guys can see that is a very delicious Haitian spice that we're going to use for the chicken and um, just sit that to the side and we're going to come back with the next step. Hi guys, so I'm back now and sorry guys, that chicken is boiling and I'm going to soon remove it and I'm going to remove all of that um, stuff from the top. You know guys, you could just skim it off with a spoon. Um, as you guys, you know, all that stuff there. And then I have my black beans going and they're uh, boiling down right now to make that uh, sauce for this uh, rice. And then as you guys saw in the last scene, I um, prepared the Haitian seasoning. That's going to go on um, my chicken. So everything else is still here. All the rest of the ingredients are there. All those vegetables are going to go in that uh, chicken. So we'll just come back to that next step, guys. So I'm back, guys. I want to show you guys how to skim off that um, stuff from the chicken. If you don't know how, I pretty much just, you know, have a little bowl there and just skim everything off. Remove all of that. I mean, it's normal for this to happen when you're boiling chicken. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys how I remove it. You can see, guys, all of that. You just remove all of that. Um, or you could just um, strain it in a strainer. You know, rinse it off if you don't want to do it this way. But because I'm keeping this broth for the um, the sauce for my chicken, I don't want to remove this uh, water from my chicken. But anyway, there you go, guys. Just wanted to show you guys how to skim off all of that uh, fat and brim from the chicken. Hi, guys. So I'm back now and. Uh, I've removed that chicken from boiling down for a bit and we're just going to season it up because I'm going to um, give it, um, brown it up a bit to give it uh, a nice color and we're going to add um, some garden vegetable seasoning, we're going to add some onion powder, we're going to add some garlic powder. And I'm going to add a little rosemary. You can pretty much add any seasonings that you like. But these are the seasonings that, that I like um, when I'm doing my um, Asian chicken. And then we're going to add some of that um, Haitian spice that I prepared. And uh, I just like to add a little... Um, cayenne pepper because I know the Haitians use um, scotch bonnet pepper but I have kids so I don't want to really use that but um, cayenne pepper still gives it a nice uh, kick but um, yep yeah, now we're just gonna give this chicken 
a toss. Toss everything around. Hi guys, so I'm back now, and uh, we um, put all that nice uh, seasoning on that chicken, guys, as you guys can see. And now we're gonna go ahead and add that chicken to the oil and give it some color. Gonna let that um, delicious chicken brown up on each side until it's a um, nice golden brown. And we'll come back with the next step. All right, guys. So we're back, and I'm just going to give this a flip. I want to show you guys that's the color that I'm looking for. It's nice and browned up. You see that? And you can make it as dark as you want, you know, to each their own. Some people like it darker, but that's an okay color to me. As you guys can see, it's a it's a perfect brown. And it's just right. And you just let it brown on the next side the same way. Um, I'm going to add the rest because I have another batch to do as well. And uh, we'll come back to the next step. All right, guys, so I'm back and uh, we've browned up that chicken. Guys, you see, that's lovely. Okay, guys, we're gonna add those red bell peppers, um, orange bell peppers and green bell peppers, some thyme, and some garlic. We're gonna give all of that a nice brown. Um, I also want to let you guys know that oil that you see, that oil is from, um, it's from where I fried the chicken. So you will see like some bits from me frying up chicken and then you see I added, um, some thyme here. So we're just going to give that a toss here. All of those um, delicious vegetables. Um, I forgot to add some onion as well. So we're going to go ahead and add some onion. And I like um, red onion. But I'm going to add white as well. Okay, so you guys see I picked up this cute little onion from the grocery store today. They were selling a humongous bag of these for a dollar and sixty-seven cents. They're so cute, right? So we're just gonna chop some of that onion up. Okay. I love onions, so I add tons of onion to any dish that I'm doing. Whether it's a Haitian dish or African dish, I add tons of onions because I love them. I get that from my grandmother. I always tell the story of my grandmother and onions because she was an onion lover. She would eat yellow Vidalia onions raw by themselves. I used to look at her like she was crazy, but <laughs> now that I'm older, I see that um, they're delicious. All right, so I added that white onion. And I also added red onion as well. And like I say, we're just gonna give this a toss, saute it, get it all nice and brown. And we'll come back with the next step, guys. 
Alright guys, so I'm back now and uh, we have sauteed these vegetables up nicely and we're just going to place them to the side and now we're going to go ahead and um, do the next step. We're going to add a little bit of oil to the pan and here I have uh, fried up garlic. Oh, sorry guys. I fried up garlic and onions. You see, they're nicely caramelized uh, garlic and onions. I'm gonna add that to the dish. And then we have here um, a very nice tomato paste that I'm adding to the dish. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and add two nice dollops of that uh, tomato paste. Just gonna get the rest of that um, garlic and onions because it's very nice. I don't want to. I don't want to waste anything. And we're just going to toss it around in that oil and make a nice paste so it's nice and smoothed out, guys. Um, you could always add a little um, stock to it to help as well. Um, here guys, I have leftover um, chicken stock from boiling that chicken guys and a little of those Haitian spices. We're going to add a little bit of that just to help thin it out. And I really like tomato, so I'm going to add more tomato paste. You can add as much or as little as you want. But I really like it, so I'm pretty much just going to add the whole thing, guys. I'm going to add all that. This is a um, small jar. 106, um, what's this? 106 mils is how much this is. Okay guys, so as you guys can see that tomato paste is a nice smooth texture and we're going to slowly add um, that chicken broth previously from the chicken that we boiled down earlier. And like I said, it's, um, my chicken broth is, as you guys can see, some of those chicken pieces are still in there. And just add slowly because we're going to make a nice paste here. And you could add as much or as um, as much or as less liquid as you want. I like a lot of sauce. I'm just adding the whole thing. And like I said, yes, mine is uh, like a more tomatoey. Um, liquidy because I like a lot of tomatoes you don't have to add as much as I did um, I have extra chicken broth here I'm gonna add a little bit more fat this is a very nice Haitian recipe all right and then we're just gonna go ahead and add those vegetables back into um, this dish Okay, give it a toss. And we're, we added uh, another thyme piece as well. A little bit more broth. Okay, and then we're gonna add the chicken pieces back to the mixture. and we're just going to give everything a toss guys this is going to be so delicious it smells delicious as well okay now for flavor guys I add um, a mushroom bole and I add a chicken bole for more flavor this is going to be so good 
And once you have everything all nicely mixed, you just let it cook down for another five, 10 minutes, and then we'll come back with the next step. All right guys, so we have here um, the black beans that we're gonna do for this Haitian rice. We have it going, it's boiled down, um, and the beans are soft, very, very soft, as you guys can see. And then I'm going to just move my camera over to that Haitian chicken, guys. You see, it's, uh, it's done, it's ready. So now we're just going to move the camera over to go ahead and get started with um, the Haitian beans. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just look for my spoon and I found it. So I'm just gonna turn it to the side so you guys can see it better. But we're going to just take some of those beans because we're wanting to make this a nice um, thick paste. We're just gonna give it a blend. We're gonna put um, those beans in there. Most of them we're gonna put in there. Cause this is mostly a sauce, right? I'm just adding beans here to the blender. You see guys, we added most of those beans. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the top on. And we're gonna give it a blend. Let me just turn it to this side, it's better. Hope you guys can see that, okay. We're just going to blend these beans until it's nice and smooth. I'm just going to check see how it is, okay? You guys can see the consistency that we're looking for. It's like a nice paste there. And that's what I'm looking for. And we're just going to take the camera back over here all right guys I'm back and the black beans have cooked down nicely they season very well and um, it's it's uh, it looks very delicious so I do want to mention one thing guys. I know the Haitians traditionally they will strain their beans um, to make it more of a um, pure or a smooth texture but I'm okay with the thickness I actually like it that way um, you know, that's the reason why I left some of my beans there and I did not strain this But uh, you know, like I said traditionally they um, Strain it, but I left my beans whole and I left and I did not strain it. So um, But everything is done and I'm gonna go ahead with the next step to plate this dish guys Because everything's prepared now What I like to do is just drizzle it all around my dish guys that's how I'm plating this up. You guys can see. You have it like I told you guys before. I did leave some of that, um, some of the beans in the inside of the sauce. So it's going to be like you know, it's not gonna be like that smooth sauce that the Haitians normally have. They normally strain it, but I did not strain mine. And there you have it, guys. You have the um, Haitian rice. Hi, guys, so um, this is that lovely um, Haitian 
beans and rice that I plated up. And as you guys can see here, how I um, plated my dish, I know, you know, you can plate it however you want. And I have some of that lovely chicken left over, guys, that we browned up earlier, and I just want to add that to my plate as well. All right, that is my version of a Haitian dish. Um, hope you guys enjoy and subscribe to see more great videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.